Here's the ladies have gone out. Just popping out for a while, Martin P, she said. Be good. Doing a hyperactive bit. I mean, we've just spent the whole afternoon down at the market, and as soon as we get home, she has to pop out. I don't know where she goes. I don't ask. She says I'm her queen, queen. Chalk and cheese we are. You should see us in the mornings. Jewel up, fussing about, putting the war face on. Me in bed, all snuggled up. I never want to get up. Never can. I don't know. It's just having to rip myself from under the quilt. <sighs> I think if only I could lie in bed and not exist today. <coughs> yeah. That's what I usually think. Mandy, darling, time to get up. <coughs> oh, come on, girl, it's daylight. Ears, man, to me, poor old ears. Joel, hun. Oh, I don't know why I bother. It's been a backyard abortion has bloody pierced him or something. I'm always popping off down to the doctors, infections in them, and God knows. Joel, let's go down the market, eh? Oh, I can't, Dot. close up all together. Don't you ever let your air holes close up. Jewel, not ever. Promise? I'm always... Not ever. Oh, well. There aren't the earrings around anyway, hun. Oh. Only the clip-on jobs. Not ever, Jewel. Thanks, girl. You kiss it better? Mm. It's like this with Joel, eh? I like her so much. I love her so much. I'm afraid of what she's gonna think. It really matters what Joel thinks. I love you, Joel. Sometimes I just wanna bellow that. I sing it inside me like I'm busting. Jewel, Jewel, Jewel. I love you, Jewel. Sometimes I get petrified as one thing I said it out loud. But no, she's but usual. But I mean to say, shouldn't I be in love with a fella or something? I'll tell you one thing. When Jewel comes across faint on account of her ears, at least it gets me out of bed.
One day, I'll have my own little beard and my own little house. There'll be no worries, boy. There'll be no whacking furries. That's what I used to think. I used to lie in bed and think, when I have my own place, everything will be all right. Jewel, huh? Let's get out of the market, eh? Jewel? Aren't you talking to your mean, D? Can't you see I'm busy? Let me get dressed first. It seems a lifetime since we first met down at the Dom. One of those brown berry pubs, you know. I was a masseuse then. <laughs> let me tell you about my op, says Joel. She always starts off with, let me tell you about my op. <laughs> OK. Anyway, I'm sitting in the lounge bar, taking shit from these jokers. Petrified stiff in case they follow me and do me over in House Street. You know the type. Well, Jules at the bar. Piss off, you bitch. Jeez, look at the state of it. Queer. Christ, you got a cheek shot up here, you crazy. Oh, you sick of bitch. Yeah, I think they should be cut up. Sweetheart, two things. Let me tell you about my aunt. I used to be Henry. And so my life with Jewel began. Jewel teaching me all the tricks. Everything's real camp, says Joel. Real camp. But every so often she lets something slip. Just quietly, no fuss. But like it goes so deep, she'll carry it through to the grave. Like about the time she was in the cells. Plucked off the streets, she calls it. 
She was cracking it because she was down to her last cent. The pigs tail her, pick her up. They let the bloke off. Like, you've got a wife and kids and all that. But Jewel, she ends up in the cell, sweating the writing on the walls for company, hoping she doesn't come out of there in a box. Jewel says she knew two queens who come out of there in boxes. Yeah. So Jewel says you've got to be tough, kid. You've got to never lose face. <laughs> we swap life stories. And later on, we sat in bed having teen ginger nuts. It seems, I don't know, funny. <laughs> Hilarious. Two queens having TNG, for Christ's sakes. One day we had a party for Jill's birthday. A real surprise. All us girls got together and put some money in to buy Jill a cake. Well, I went down the cake shop and the lady behind the counter, she says, look, dearie, if it's value we want, what about this? And out she wheels the second-hand wedding cake. Darcel brought along an old wedding veil. I said to Jill, what do you think of your little man organising a birthday party, eh? Jill didn't say a word. Jill? Jill, huh? Okay, lovey, okay. Jill? I said okay, didn't I? I said, all right, we'll go down the effing market. OK, lovey, OK. We're a leading company in our field with branches throughout New Zealand and we're looking for a challenge. Anyway, I want to post off my letter, so we'll do that on the way. I mean, if you're my titties? Joel, could you get my tits, please? Of course I will, Mom P. I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. DeMille. Okay, honey, this one's for you. Love. Hey. 
Mombi, get your tits on or I'll make us a nice cup of tea and a crumpet, eh? Spoil you a bit. Try to get up, Mompy, try. Look, I'll run you a nice hot bath, eh? Get up when your mother tells you. Get up. You just put the limit. Could have been a jewel, a dude pole and everything. I could have been a pearl or a ruby. <laughs> but I always had a soft spot for Mandy. <sighs> Look at all this stuff. A real lady. very particular about herself. Not like me. I'm the village scruff. You should see her at night. Cleaning out her air holes with habitane spirit and taking her makeup off with Nivea on a pink tissue. And she says to me, without fail. Mompy, you should really take yours off. It'll be worse in the morning. It'll be frightful in the morning and so bad for the complexion. See what's underneath it before I go to bed. That's all. Watch out for the swam girl, it's torturous. Oh my god, take a look at that. 
Hey, look at them. Sweets for the sweet. Coral Galish. Mm. Darling. Mm. I have the three there. Oh, stun wire. A jewel for the jewel. Mm. Coral, you darling. Mm. Mm. Oh, look, you haven't met my friend Mandy. New queen on the scene. Oh, Girl. Oh, you choose something lovely. Nice bangle or something you fancy. But it's not my birthday. I know it's not your birthday, Pep. I know it's not your bloody birthday. But I want Ooh, you to have something too. It's not your fault. Your name's not Jewel. That was it. Oh. You do as you're told and choose something nice. What are you going to do with the badge, love? Stick it in your ear. <laughs> Get lost, homo. Jesus, Mandy. Jesus, Mandy. Come on, love, you make up your mind and choose something now. Come on, choose something. I don't want one that every second person's got. Um, I don't want split ends. I don't want a parrot. What about... I'm the virgin. This is an old bad stool. Just bloody decide! <laughs> Do you know something, Jewel? You boss me! I mean it like 
like that. You know, Mompey. We've got to be proud. Mompey, your jewel star. I wouldn't go down the market with any of the other dolls, Mompey. Let's go home and have a cup of tea, eh? Tea and ginger nuts. T and G, how's that? Have I ever told you about the time I met this guy called Norm Jones? Oh, well, it was while I was down at the Bean Street.